Good morning, welcome to the morning Forex Outlook. Looking at the uh, euro dollar, for, actually before I look at the euro dollar and anything else, it's just like a look at what news is due out today. Uh, we've already had um, the inflation data for the UK that was uh, came in at point one above expectation, so it's 0 0.5 versus 0 0.4, uh, positive in some respects, but it makes absolutely no difference to any chance of interest rate increases. So, washed away that one. Um, side of that, we've got MPC Ramsden speaking. So, that's uh, Bank of England, uh, one of the Bank of England members uh, speaking, due to deliver a speech entitled UK Monetary Policy, Policy Issues and Outlook. Um, well, the outlook might uh, create some uh, volatility, but it's at 1 10 pm, so it's this afternoon. Um, we'll, we'll see that uh, document released on the beginning of the meeting. We often do and these sort of things, but uh, we'll see. But we'll watch out for around about one o'clock anyway. Uh, 1.30, usual uh, Canadian inflation data and retail sales. None of those really move the markets too much at the moment. So we're just left then to the technical. So let's have a look at where we are there. Um, other fundamental news, I should say, well, of course, in the background is Brexit and uh, US stimulus, and uh, it seems that uh, neither are being sorted. So, um, as I say, technicals then. Daily wise on the euro, we've seen, well, we're on the fourth update at the moment. Um, I say at the moment, it may reverse. It, we're looking at it at the moment, though, it's pushing up pretty well. Um, to get join this party, I'd need a, a pretty decent retrace back towards that 21 maybe the 34 so gonna be a bit patient here uh, we could try and trade back towards the pivot which um, it's got it's got the uh, probability draw to it but um, well at this stage I, I the way it's consolidated if you look at the sort of uh, every time it uh, it got a bit overbought here not necessarily so much here but either way it was consolidated it just sort of where it's getting to these tops it's consolidating so it may be a bit of patience that if it consolidates up here we wait for the consolidation and see if we can play any further up trade um, so that's where we are with the euro uh, the pound looking outwards first and well it's just still continue to be quite a, a choppy mess just a, a little tiny inside doji bar um, it's really not giving us too much of a clue is it <laughs> so uh, what, what looks good at one moment isn't so good the next and well um, it's already where it looks like it's air kissed its daily pivot maybe if it starts breaking down but it's got support it's got the potential of any bit of whisper of news coming out there pushing it back up or even further down but it is the great unknown with a pound and it's probably best left dolly yen yen's well yen's just come kind of surprise surprise back to its regression uh trend line there no significant changes it's uh looking more like it's got bigger changes on the four alleys but um well you, you 20 30 pip moves some of the uh, overall on the four alley chart so it's they're not sort of big big moves but um again we've got the daily pivot there untouched but uh well it's it, it, we are seeing this sort of sign of strengthening through here lower highs um again retracements may give opportunities to sell into at this stage it's, it's just too far gone it's all the way down to its uh, daily s2 there uh, the ranges are often into into that as far as it goes. It's a, it's a very small percentage chance of the S3. So, uh, particularly on the yen, which seems to move so little, maybe if something news-wise drives it, we could get something. But um, gone, it's a goner. Okay, and the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar starting to see a little push up this morning. This may be if we do see the markets turn, maybe the one that uh, sells e easiest um, up to chasing its weekly pivot it might have a chance of uh, getting back up to, into that in the next day or so so if you're looking more longer term it could be better it's had such a tight range that the pivots are quite pinched here so well r2 is not far away it may break through that as i said there's the weekly above but um, um I'm, I'm wary of this aussie and uh, if it starts breaking down well potentially it, there's a trend line across the lows here uh, that might be the one that breaks the e or softens the easiest. Canadian dollar, uh, Canadian dollar selling off here. Um, 
uh, I say it's Canadian dollar, US dollar stroke Canadian dollar, US dollar selling off here against the Canadian dollar. Um, so we're just seeing sort of a continuation of this move, solid, solid moves. The Canadian dollar has been one of the stronger overall pairs over a longer period here, and it's just literally continuing in that route. A bit of support into its daily S1 at the moment. Again, untouched daily pivots. Maybe if something bad came out in terms of news-wise, we would see these uh, these as good targets, these daily pivots. But for now, I do wonder again if we'll just see some consolidation or even a retrace back to its 21, which is yet to be touched, and reactions off this. So it really is one of those uh, mornings you don't really, I don't like, because the market's already had such a move. Um, you can try trading retraces as... They're the, they're the great unknown in this particular case because of the the shallowness of some of these. Uh, the market's trying to trying to get a bit of a, a bounce in its step. Um, S and P's. Let's just have a flick through here. And well, yesterday could, still couldn't manage anything too positive here. S and P's. I'm not surprised at this. At really, you know, um, with the elections coming up, that it's it's getting a bit more rangy. Um, I didn't say it on Monday, but the big money has been still moving into the S&Ps. Uh, in, in terms of the commitment of traders report, we're still seeing money moving in there quite significantly. But um, there we are. Uh, they're betting towards the upside. Um, picture here, though, still remains pretty pretty dull here with lower highs coming through. On the, you can see through here, but uh, lots of chop. Horrible day yesterday. If you're sort of uh, uh, trying to find the picture of where it's going maybe it's, it's got a bounce I don't like betting against the upside um, but uh, well we'll see what happens but for now choppy uh, pretty much it and for those following oil just quick look at it from a 60 minute point of view well it's it's been flatlining pretty much through uh, this week and uh, we're chopping around a little bit a little step up there through the Asian session there or late uh, US session there and into the Asian session it's chopping again at the moment okay not much to be done there either so I wish you a great day bye for now mm -hmm.